Okay, in this video we're going to be replacing a Dremel nozzle assembly, sometimes called an extruder. The tools you'll need are as follows. A small flathead screwdriver, 2.5mm Allen wrench, 2mm Allen, a T10 Torx, and some needle nose pliers. Quick disclaimer, I will say that this video is not perfect. I filmed it with a GoPro on my head in a school. But uh, here we go. So start by removing the two um, two and a half millimeter uh, Allen screws at the top of the printer and then there's one T10 Torx right underneath. I show here you can even use a two millimeter Allen. It's on the right side. Don't accidentally unscrew the one on the left. And then make sure the power is off to the printer before you unplug anything. But here I have already had it turned off and I unplug the um, filament runout sensor and now I'm unplugging the motor. If you do either of those things when the printer is still powered you can damage the uh, motherboard. So now there's two screws to uh, release the extruder motor. I know, I mean it's, it's kinda hard to see where they're at. I would just use this video um, you know kind of as a check uh, when you're using the actual document instructions provided by Dremel Digilab support. So here I am. There's filament still loaded in the machine, but I'm just loosening those screws until I can kind of uh, maneuver it out. So backwards underneath the uh, fan wire there, and then I pull out that existing filament, and we're all good there. Now back to the T10. Uh, I got a better angle of it later. Removing the two torque screws that hold in the fan shroud. And if you're replacing an older print um, print head, pretty common that this thing is stuck. So there's a little metal protectant shroud inside of it, and uh, it's got filament caked onto it. So here I am plugging the printer in, and I'm going to start the preheat cycle. Tools, preheat, and then I pause the bed. There's no need to heat up the bed. We're just worried about getting this nozzle hot, and then... Yeah, sometimes it's that easy. I just touch it. If you need to see it again, here's one on way on way nastier printer. And so getting it hot and then that comes off. I'm not worried about the nozzle assembly since we're going to be replacing it, but you do want to clean out this fan shroud because um, this kind of carbonized gross filament can smell. And it smells kind of sweet, but definitely weird. And uh, you want to minimize that. So back to the printer we're working on. Turn off the preheat, turn off the printer. And I start loosening the heater wires, which are these two white solid core wires that go into this green kind of terminal block. So this is where you use the flathead. You don't need to loosen these much. These are just kind of like clamping teeth that hold these wires in place. So I got those loose and then pull out that they're mister. Don't do what I did there. So it removed the actual Mauser or Molex housing that goes on the circuit board. And I kind of have a tough time getting it back on. Um, hold that still while you're pulling out the plug. And then, yeah, you can't see it here. Um, I may refilm this video in the future, but I just, I'm just trying to get it out in case it helps somebody. Um, this step, follow the assembly instructions. There's a two millimeter Allen screw that holds in the nozzle assembly. And I had to use some force to get it out. Um, but here I am taking the old broken one and pulling it down and out. And yes, a screw went flying. I find it later. Um, my new nozzle assembly ordered from 3PI. I think this is the hardest part if you haven't done it before is getting the wires up through and of course you can't see exactly here but um, I'm feeding them through the two little the white heater wires are coming up through the two little openings you can kind of see in a second right there yeah um, definitely just use this video as a reference it's not a perfect guide just because it's really difficult to see but I'll have to shoot another version soon and then feed the thermistor wire the blue one up through the front It kinda goes up this little 
slope and comes out the front left opening. Yep, and then totally missing it there, but what I'm doing is seating the the top of the heat sink all the way up in the uh, printer. And then moving the leveling switch back out of the way, put the two millimeter Allen wrench in and tighten it. Once that's in, what I'm doing here is I'm focusing on pushing it all the way up in with my fingers so that it's mounted and seated fully. And so this won't affect your um, your filament loading or anything like that. Uh, nozzle offset, definitely. So here, remounting the extruder wires, and the best way to do this is to start with the wires, get, get them plugged in obviously, but don't worry too much about bending them. So I use needle nose pliers just to kind of help out here, but really just focus on getting them mounted well in that heater block terminal. Because if they're loose, they could come out, which would cause a problem. And if they're too tight, you can break the terminal. So here, yeah, they're kind of looped out to the left like this. Just be, And then on the right, you need to fold them over so that they fit inside of the, um, the housing on top of the printer when you're done. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do here with the needle nose. It was my first of 10 printers for the day, so I kind of got um, maybe a little bit better as the day went on. But I was trying to do two things at once. Remounting the motor, put it in through the back underneath the wire, and then reseat that connection. And then hopefully your screws didn't come out of the motor mount housing. You can just fire the uh, two and a half millimeter Allen right back through there and, and tighten those again. And then next we'll find our little torque screws. Those are coarser thread than the machine screws that go on top. But so those torque screws that are meant for mounting into plastic. I'm trying to fully seat this uh, fan shroud because you need it to be even before you put either of the screws in. So you're holding the fan shroud up and trying to hold one of the little screws in place. So it doesn't matter if you do the right side or the left side first, but you do want to make sure that that's seated fully because if you tighten one screw before the other, you might not be able to push the fan shroud all the way up around the nozzle. Yep, this uh, camera angle is not super helpful. Now, Make sure the printer's off again. Plugging in the filament runout sensor. It's gonna only go in one way. And then when we reseat this, I, I tighten the T10 Torx first just to make sure that it grabs it fully. And then put the two, two and a half millimeter Allen screws back in the top of the housing. And that's it. You can uh, recalibrate or relevel and make sure that your nozzle is still where it should be. And that's a wrap.